you hear me? All pay heed. The Lord, the Lord Jehovah, has given unto you these 15. Oi. 10, 10 commands. That's a fresh water. Four, three, two, one. Oh shit, shake that ass, my movie like a gypsy. Stop, ball, back it up, now let me see your hips. Why the hell would I take a test? Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, they're the future. We can't look back. I did not come to poison our country, the blood of our country. An election is a choice, and in this election, there is no choice. Keep the label of Republican, but vote to defend this democracy. You have to publicly out yourself. I am a Republican, I'm a conservative, and I'm supporting Kamala Harris. It All takes right. courage. Oh. Bill, the star of Borat and the Ali G Show, again wore disguises, conned his way into interviews. For obvious reasons, the show was kept under wraps until recently, but a teaser showed Cohen offering former Vice President Dick Cheney a waterboard for him to sign. Are his stunts exposing truth or just pushing an already polarized country farther apart? Many of the victims have been speaking out. So far, they include Sarah Palin, Dick Cheney, Ted Koppel, Bernie Sanders, Roy Moore, General David Petraeus, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, and my next guest, Joe Walsh, the former Illinois congressman turned radio host. So Congressman, what was the setup in your case? Hey, Michael, good to be with you. And, and look, let me say at the outset, I think, Sasha, I, I think Sasha Baron Cohen's a funny guy. I thought Borat was hilarious, but look, in my The intensive three-week kindergarten <laughs> course introduces specially selected children from 12 to four years old to pistols, rifles, semi-automatics, and a rudimentary knowledge of mortars. I'm also a grandfather. We failed to leave my kids' generation a better world. And now I worry not just about the kind of world we'll leave my grandkids, but what kind of country will we leave them? That other guy, I'm also a veteran from a long line of veterans. And he's just not safe. So yeah, I'll be voting for Kamala Harris because she wants to move us forward. Oh, man. Biggest groups of, you know, a different party for a party uh, for somebody like, you know, Kamala Harris that I've seen. There's a lot of momentum behind this. And as you know, Wolf, I mean, the Republican Party has basically left a significant amount of people that identify as Republicans by changing its views on everything, including uh, Ukraine, which is a very important issue, including the strength of our democracy. So I think it's going to be a pretty big event, to be honest with you. So what, uh, if anything, are Republicans, especially those in key battleground states, risking by going against their own party's nominee for president? Well, look, I mean, you go against in the Republican Party. Let's just be honest. It's become a cult where you can't have a difference of opinion. I mean, you're the only thing you're required to do in the GOP. It's easy. And it's also like you know, crazy, which is just pledge basically total allegiance to Donald Trump and whatever his views of the day are or his whims of the day are. So yeah, you thought you thought I was going. It was good. A first grader can become a first grenader to publicly out yourself. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs>